534 is the time now. It's another step forward to creating an environmentally sustainable Salton Sea. Three agencies now set to conduct a feasibility study, which could lead to the long term restoration of the Salton Sea. News Channel 3 spoke with the Salton Sea Authority. Crystal Jimenez has more this morning on that partnership. Good morning, Crystal. Good morning, Jeff. This partnership is really going to bring together a diverse set of skills, all of them working together for that main goal, as you mentioned. What is going to be signed today is called the Imperial Stream Salton Sea Feasibility Cost Share Agreement. I was told it took two years to finally get to this point in time. A partnership opportunity like this one is only issued three times a year, and that's nationwide. The feasibility study is going to be conducted by the United States Army Corps of Engineers. Also helping will be the state of California, and of course, the Salton Sea Authority will be acting as joint local sponsors for the effort. It's an important um, coming together of local, state, and federal resources to, to address the long-term sustainable nature of the sea. The Corps of Engineers brings uh, significantly greater federal resources that can help implement these projects, and, uh, and that's a really good thing. The Salton Sea has a long and growing list of challenges from less water coming into the lake that is leading to it shrinking. Thousands of acres of the lake bed is exposed. Even the habitat has become smaller. The study is going to be conducted in phases. Because of the complexity of the Salton Sea, I was told it may take longer than three years to be completed. But a lot of work has already been done by the state. This work will be contributed to the study. We'll learn more on the goals and efforts for the feasibility study study to be conducted. Stay with News Channel 3 for the latest. Crystal Jimenez, News Channel 3. Thank you, Crystal. Well, some growers in